guys, welcome back to some more Critic Captain 2017 and part 15 of the Road to World number 1 with England and today we have the start of the India series, 5 test matches in the series of course, it's it's certainly going to be tough, uh, Alistair Cook definitely coming back into things, um, who else was injured, I think it was Johnny Bairstow was injured at some point, um, where is he, oh James Anderson's injured, that's not going to be good. Uh, where is Bearstow? There he is. Um, so hopefully you guys are good. Obviously we lost the series against Pakistan, which was really disappointing in the end. Um, obviously getting that draw in the in the final test match, but uh, yeah, disappointing. Uh, but there's not a lot we can do about that now. We've just got to try and perform in this test series. Obviously we absolutely thumped India the last time they came to England. So uh, another one of those would be really great. Um, Chris Walks hasn't had the best of times recently uh, for his county, but I think we'll we'll stick with him for now because James Anderson is out. Um, let's have a look at this year's uh, bowling statistics in first class cricket. Uh, who's got the most wickets? This guy called Payne. Uh, for Gloucestershire, so that's probably in Division Two. I really need to learn which sides in. Um, Division 1 and Division 2. He's had a good year. Matt Salisbury. Uh, he's 25 years old. Um, yeah, he's not too bad at all. Um, he only averages 6 with a bat, though. That's quite disappointing. Uh, Jake Ball's had a good good run of things. We'll bring him back, because I think he's a bit hard done by not being in the squad. So that's 12 players. I think that's just about it. We've actually got a wicketkeeper this time, which will be good. Uh, Liam Livingston's apparently in bad form, but I think it'll be harsh to drop him from the test side after uh, averaging 82 in the Pakistan series. So let's get into it. A lot of players need uh, a bit of practice just to get into some sort of form before the India test match. Uh, I'm going to try and rattle through this episode. Um, don't have a great deal of time to record it, so um, we'll just try and get through it as quickly as possible. Um, no more coaching sessions, so Chris Walks needs a bit of physio time, uh, as does Liam Livingston, actually. Um, yeah, there we go, and let's get into it. Uh, so we'll pick the team. Alistair Cook will open with Hamid, that seems about right, Joe, Joe Root at three. Uh, we'll play balance at f no. We'll play balance at five. Bairstow at four. Um, we'll play Livingston at six with uh, Stokes at seven. Ali at eight. Um, and I think we're going to go with Stephen Finn instead of Chris Walks, simply because um, yeah, simply because he's just not in good form. And I think Stephen Finn deserves a chance. So. You know, make uh, Stephen Finn the second bowler when we can. And Stuart Broad our opening bowler. So let's get into it. Um, hopefully this will be a good match. Uh, let's have a look at the conditions. It's looking quite cloudy early on, but still a lot of sun. Which means uh, I think we're going to bat first if we get the option. Unfortunately, we haven't got any choice whatsoever. Uh, because we are going to be bowling first. So we're going to have to make the most of this. Try and get India out um, for quite a low score that, that would be the best scenario and Stephen Finn will see how his return goes but he has Stu Broad or Rahul early on a uh, chance but no cigar there uh, Jake Ball will come into things now with Ben Stokes see if we can do anything with this new ball doesn't look like we can we're gonna have to bring Moan Alley into it earlier than uh, hoped um, maybe Joe Root as well to see what he can do. We'll go a little bit more defensive. Um, somebody asked us in the comments about link and aggression uh, with the batsman. I don't really know what it does. I think it's something to do with uh, you link. You don't link the aggression between the two bowlers, so you can really attack a spinner and then be defensive against a particular seamer. Stuff like that. Um, so yeah, hope, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, but yeah, we're really struggling here on the opening day against India which is not what we needed Stokes for Rahul and finally we get the breakthrough he's gone for 84 India now 174 for 1 Stu brought a Rahane now I thought that might have been a thin inside edge but it wasn't 
Um, yeah, Stephen Finn and Jake Ball come into the attack. T interval day one, two two three for one. This is really really poor um, against the Indians. Really expected a bit more from the bowlers. Obviously, we're without James Anderson and Chris Wokes, but I expected these uh, to really take charge. Broad to Nair, edged and gone. Good catch by Bairstow. Nair gone for 146. Hopefully we can push on a little bit now. We've got the main batsman out. Moan Ali going to come into the attack. Uh, hopefully hold an end. India have already brought the 300 up. Uh, really not a good start, but that's a good catch by Hamid. Rahani gone for 50. And now India 301 for 3. Uh, if we can keep them below 500, that would be great. Um, but we'll just have to see. We're not going to take the new ball just yet because I think Mo and Ali can get a little bit more from it. And, oh, dropped catch. That's disappointing. We need to get Coley out very, very quickly. He can cause a massive problem for us. Uh, Mo and Ali's had a very, very good over here. Edged and gone. Pujara out for three. 317 for four now. This is really good stuff. Monali just holding an end with that old ball. And another one. Coley gone for 41. And now, hopefully, we can see the rewards of sticking with Monali at one end. Hmm, disappointing. Um, Joe Root can bowl the final over the day. End of day one, then. 3.53 for, three, uh, for five. That's really disappointing. We'll take the new ball at the start of the day. And we're going to throw it straight to Stu Broad. And Ben Stokes, the two seamers that have got wickets so far. Uh, and, and see that nothing actually happens. Oh, this is frustrating. Stephen Finn to Darwin. He's been expensive, Stephen Finn. Nope. Really disappointing from him so far. Stephen Finn to Janesia. Edged and gone. Uh, not, not gone, edged and four, I should say. Um, these two are settled now, so we're in a bit of trouble. Um, Stephen Finn going very expensively. Uh, but actually, it's Ben Stokes that's the most expensive of the bowlers. Brought to Darwin. Lunch interval day two, then 4 7 7 for 5. Really, really struggling, and it's, it's sad to see. Uh, but if we can hang in and get a draw from this match, it would be good. That could be a thin edge, though it is. Darwin gone for 92, finally. Uh, we managed to make the breakthrough, and hopefully uh, we'll manage to get the rest of the wickets and, and keep them under 600. That's the plan. Um, this is why we wanted a bat first. That's four. But they, they are just attacking now. Oh, and Ali's doing a good job. Uh, Jake Ball, they've declared actually on 601. 601 for 6, so that's really not a good start for us. Uh, and we're going to have to dig in, uh, try and survive the rest of day 2, uh, and come out day 3, trying to get a decent score. There seems to be a bit of swing coming about. Uh, it is a clear day, so maybe we can um, go and get a decent total. Maybe it is a good batting pitch, but uh, they've got the spinners out already. Hamid gone for 13. That's not a good start. Joe Root needs to put in a shift as the captain, but he's gone for a duck. So many ducks so far in this save for Joe Root. Really, really disappointing stuff, and we're hopefully not going Oh, we've lost Bairstow as well. He's gone for a duck, and all of a sudden, after, you know, a solid start, getting uh, about 32, I think, we've lost three wickets for a couple of runs, and it's now 33 for three. Uh, and we are in massive trouble here of having a, a horrendous result in this first test match. And Gary Balance has gone. He's out for 19. He played nicely for that 19, but eventually got out. Liam Livingston, the man that's not in form, but played very well in the Pakistan series and gets another go. 76 for 4 at uh, the end of day 2 then. We wanted to survive day 2. Um, without losing any more wickets and well look what happened to that but uh, Cook and Livingston going along nicely but Cook's uh, edged one from Ashwin and he's gone for 47 Ashwin's got four wickets so far that's really really annoying um, 
Yeah. Do we just attack? Try and get out of this with an attacking brand of cricket? Perhaps. 50 for Liam Livingston. Shining light. But look at the spin that they're getting. Unbelievable, really. Livingston lives to fight another day. Oh, this is going to be a run out, surely. Oh, what, what a terrible run. Stoke's gone for 28. Oh, this is really, really poor, actually. Ashwin now to Moen Ali. He's gone for 10. Oh. And Livingston just about surviving. Stu Broad uh, managing to hold his own. 2 2 2 for 7. We're still 180 off avoiding the follow on. I don't think we're going to quite make it. But Liam Livingston has got his first test century. What a brilliant um, player he's been for us since he's come into the squad. And. He single-handedly goes a decent total here. Uh, that means we might not get an innings defeat, but <clears throat> equally uh, the possibility is still very much there. Um, India have taken the new ball now. Liam Livingston having a really good time of things out there. Uh, he's moving towards 150. Uh, and there you go, 150 from Liam Livingston. Um, 152 from 238 balls. We still need 100 runs to avoid the follow-on. Can we do it? Can we? Do I mean, Liam Livingston's gone on to 185 in a couple of overs. He's really going for it. And now we just need 65 more runs to avoid the follow-on. This is crucial. Um, we've reached uh, T on day three at 333 for seven, which is a decent total, to be honest with you. Uh, a new all-time record, England versus India, partnership between them. Liam Livingston has just got a double century. What a brilliant uh, response to probably people saying he shouldn't be in the side with his bad form. Um, or apparent bad form, but that could be it for Liam Livingston. He is gone for 206, and Stephen Finn comes to the crease. We need 36 more runs to avoid the follow-on. Stuart Broad, it's up to you, my friend. Come on. Can he have a good swing and avoid the follow-on for us? That's high in the air. Is there going to be a fielder underneath it? There's not. That's four. 23 runs to avoid the follow-on. Surely we can't do this. Surely we can't. I mean, we've also got... Who else have we got? Jake Ball. Um. I mean, can Jake Ball survive? Oh, that's close. Not out, though. Stuart Broad is, is doing something wonderful. That's edge for four. He's, he's got away with it. Oh, that could be out, though. Oh, it's not. Stuart Broad, 50. That is what we needed. 15 runs to avoid the follow-on here. Come on. Edge but safe. That could be out it is. What a shame. Stu Broad gone for 56. We were 10 runs short of avoiding the follow on. I can't believe it. Um, so India lead by 209 runs. Uh, so now we've just got to stick in there. Try and build a lead. It's going to be very difficult. Now Hamid's gone for a first ball duck. That's really disappointing. Uh, Joe Root is hopefully going to go and get a massive total today he certainly needs one he'll be under pressure as captain end of day 3 44 for 1 with 165 runs behind uh, India oh Alistair Cook gone for 22 now then 50 for Joe Root Johnny Bairstow's started very nicely here do we go and attack them it's a beautiful bacon hot day and it's a chance. Oh, Bearstow's gone for 30. That's really disappointing. 100 for Joe Root, though. He needed a score and brought it up with this cover drive by the looks of things. I mean, it wasn't a drive. It was just a slog. 
Um, but we're now only 48 runs behind. Look at all the fielders around the bat. That is just ridiculous. And I think that's just outside the line. Wow. But there's just so much spin on this pitch. It's such a shame that uh, we didn't get the bat first. Because Mo and Ali would be ripping them to shreds right now. Oh, balance is gone. It's a good delivery. He's gone for seven. Liam Livingston comes to the crease after his double century in the first innings. Uh, we're only 26 runs behind. 183 for four at uh, lunch on day four. Uh, yeah, I mean, where's the point that we can win this match? Oh, Joe Root gone for 123. Maybe that is the sign that we can't win this match anymore. But good innings from Joe Root, captain's innings. Ben Stokes gone for 14, disappointing from him in this test match. I mean, we're not gonna get beat by an innings, but uh, it's certainly gonna be a resounding defeat for us because you know, we just can't keep our wickets, can we? And now Finn's come to the crease because I forgot to uh, tell Liam Livingston to uh, keep strike. I, I mean, that's high in the air. There's going to be a fielder underneath it. Liam Livingston. Oh, it's dropped. Oh, that could be important. Can Liam Livingston single-handedly build us a total to win this match? Not if the other partners don't stay in. Can Jake Ball keep the ball out of the stumps? No, he can't. He's gone for a duck. India need 36 to win. This has been an absolute disaster. And uh, what a poor start. Might as well just go for it. They've already won. So they win by 10 wickets. That is just a, a trash performance, really. I mean, it was one on the toss because if we'd got in, got 600 runs, we'd have maybe had a chance. But Ashwin tore us apart. Uh, with the spin and we're 1-0 down in the series. It is five test matches though, so there is still hope as we go on. Uh, just to remind you, there is a giveaway going on on the channel. Ends on Sunday to win your copy of Critic Captain 2017. Uh, six ways to end. Uh, it's on my Twitter. It's on the channel. Video released a few days ago. Go and check it out uh, and have your chance of winning a copy of this year's game. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does mean a lot for me and for the channel. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.